Alright guys, now we need to triangulate this keypad right here, and this one's going to be not difficult but tricky because we have so many details in so many different places. So, let's go ahead and isolate this piece by pressing forward slash on the numpad. And um, basically, I want to concern myself with the keys first of all because these keys are going to present an issue. So, if we triangulate with control T and um, see this, as you may have guessed, we're going to get triangulations all over the place. It's going to look awful. So the first thing I want to concern myself with are the triangulations here on the keys. So what I'm going to do is select one of the faces on the keys and then we'll press Shift G and choose Coplanar. Now by default I think it's set to 0.01 which might be a bit too much so what you can actually do is drop the threshold a bit, just hold Shift and drag it back until you have the threshold that you want, so something around here. And now we have these keys and what we're going to do is press the E key to extrude, we'll press E and then right click and we're going to go up here to individual origins and then S0 and that should get us a good triangulation. Let me also remove the weight of normal and um, turn on hard of normals and you're going to see uh, I see the problem. So these keys should have been solved by the hard of normals or weight of normals whatever you're using but in this case they weren't so that tells me that these faces are not actually flat some area of the face is elevated and some area is in a different position so what we can actually do is undo this change and you can kind of already tell by how this is shading that this is not perfectly flat so what I'm going to do is go up here to global we're going to add a new face orientation and then we're going to be able to scale this S, Z and then 0 and that should flatten it out and we're going to press E to extrude again right click S and then 0. Once again make sure you're on individual origins and then we should have good shading now as you can see. Alright so let's go ahead and um, now that this is taken care of control T to triangulate and you're gonna see that although the buttons are okay everywhere else is kind of a mess so first thing I want to work on are the holes right here so let's go ahead and merge these vertices here we'll press the M key merge at last and then shift R to repeat the command. We'll go down here, shift R, and then down here, shift R. And basically what I want to do is let's go into edge mode and alt shift click to select that set of edges. And then up here we'll go to alt shift click again. Make sure we get these here. Then we're going to press shift D to duplicate. We're going to scale on the individual origins, which we should still be on. So scale them right to about here. Press the P key to, actually before we do that, let's grab it on the Z just a bit. And then we'll press the P key to separate them. Alright, so we'll go ahead and hop into object mode, shift click on this piece, tab into edit mode, and then simply knife project like that. There we go, and now all we have to do is delete out these, so alt click, and then alt shift click on this one, X, and then delete vertices, so now we only have these areas, so let's test the triangulation here again, and this one looks just fine, and now all we need to do is take care of this area, and this area, E to extrude, right click to cancel, and then S0 to scale in to get a nice triangulation on the inside. Alright, so that's done, which is good. Let's go ahead and take a look at any other areas with problems, which seem to be right here. These are really long triangulations, and that's no good. Also, around here, we have like this pinball effect going on, and we need to take care of that. So, first thing I want to deal with is this mess right here. And what I think I'll do is undo it. We'll press the L key to separate this. So, we'll select it, press P separate by selection and then we can isolate this one to its own view. Alright so now all I want to do is make this a bit more manageable for Blender to triangulate with so what I'm going to do is press the K key we'll cut all the way across like that and this should be a bit better for Blender to deal with as you can see no real problems with that one it's not too bad bit further than I want. Maybe what we could do is double tap G to slide this up and then control B to give it a one segment bevel like that and then Blender should be even happier with us because now 
there's not really any room for error. So we'll do that. Let me also turn off the loop slide option and we'll remove the way to normal and just use hard normals instead. All right, so looking good, no issues on this side of town, which is precisely what we want. This is a bit too tangent. This might cause a problem later on. So what I'm gonna actually do on this one is let me undo the change. I'm just gonna run a knife cut from here down to here. And Blender seems to be treating us a bit nicer this time, so we'll do that. Looks good. Up here looks fine as well. Now this is way too tangent. You can kind of see what's happening. So first I want to take care of this massive issue right here. So what we're going to do is simply run a knife cut all the way through here. So we're going to go to top view, press 5 to go into ortho on, a, on your numpad. We'll press the K key. We'll press Z to cut through. C to keep it straight and then click and press enter. And now this should be a bit better for Blender to deal with as you can see. So that looks good. Now these middle areas aren't really a big problem, but they could be if the bevel gets too big. So what I'm actually going to do here is subdivide these here and then these as well. Right click and then subdivide. And I don't want these edges right here. I literally just want the vertex. So what we can actually do is only edges and faces. Actually, no, let's just fill these in. If we go into face mode and press the F key to fill that in, it should just get rid of the edges without removing those vertices there. So I'll press the F key like that. And now these vertices are going to provide some connection support for this intersection here, as you can see. So this looks good, no real problem with this area. Let's go ahead and um, take a look. Yep, absolutely no problem with that part. Now down here, this is okay. And this area is okay as well. So I think this one should be fine. I don't see any problems anywhere. It's triangulating fine. So um, we'll just go ahead and leave that one. Let me unhide it. We'll press uh, forward slash on the numpad and join this back together with control J. Or what we could do instead of that is uh, hide this for now and then work on work on this other area. All right, so the buttons are pretty much already done. If we triangulate, you're gonna see no issue. Over here, this is a bit too tangent. As you can see, it's causing a massive artifact. So to fix that, what I'm gonna do is isolate this and simply run, if we hop into top view, we can run a knife cut from here to here and then from here to here. And that's still not really what Blender wants to deal with, so what I'll do is run another one from here to here. And now we have a good triangulation on that area. Let me also turn off the loop slide button, make it nice and clean. All right, so that looks good. Let me undo this real quick. Okay, this area seems to be mostly okay. But just to be safe, let me go ahead and run a knife cut down to the center like that. And we could also run this one a bit more perpendicular and get rid of that. And there we go, no problem with this area. Now for this middle face, let's just go ahead and press E to extrude, right click to cancel, then S and zero to scale in. And I think everything else is fine on here. I don't see any other issues. Right here is a problem, actually. And also, this is a bit pinched up here. We can fix that. For this area, we could simply run a knife from here to this edge. And then from here, down here. Actually, no, that did not help at all. So. We'll do that and then maybe just run a knife or an edge all the way across like that. And now Blender is going to have a uh, happy attitude today. So we have that. This once again is still a bit too stretched for my liking. So maybe we'll add a support edge right here like that. And then maybe, nope, I think this will be okay. Not too bad, maybe we'll run an edge here over just to be safe. And I think Blender will be all right with this decision. So that looks good. Let me turn off loop slide on this one. 
no problem here. Now we have to go to this one and fix this issue. So like we've always done, we're gonna connect from here to here, here to here, and then across like this, press the J key, and that should give us a nice triangulation. Now as for the back of this one, it's not gonna really work because um, we haven't fixed the back yet, but honestly, we don't really need to worry about the back too much, but if we just wanna stay consistent, I would recommend, whoops, let me fix that. I would recommend doing the same thing here. So let me dissolve out this edge. We're gonna do the same thing, join this up, join this up, and now we should have a good triangulation all around. So that looks good. The buttons look fine as well. The bottom is a bit iffy. So if you want to do the same thing to the bottom, all you have to do is select the bottom, shift G and then coplanar. We'll drop the threshold a bit. And it looks like it's not quite catching. So we'll catch these other ones manually. We'll press E to extrude, right click to cancel and then S and zero to triangulate like that. Now keep in mind, you want to have auto merge turned on, otherwise when you scale these into zero, they won't actually merge. So make sure this option is turned on up here. Other than that, I think we're okay. Uh, not really any other issues, so we're just going to go and take a quick look, pan around and check for any artifacts, but I don't think we're going to have any. Actually right here we have one, pretty obvious too. This is connecting way too far away, so on the bottom I think we're going to need an edge running all the way down. Maybe we could connect it to this vertex like that. Maybe slide it over a bit. And then maybe we'll run a knife cut from here to here. There we go, looks good. Let me turn off loop slide. And now I think we have a good result, so not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into global view. Let me find that inner screen I forget which one it is. I think it was a child object. So if we look in here under the connector, here it is right here. So we'll just go ahead and join everything together with control J. Everything's nice and triangulated for us. No issues on that one, as you can see. And this should be ready for marmoset for baking. So that looks good. Now on this one, we don't have to do too much to this one. We'll just press control T, make sure everything's selected, control T. And that one's fine. We'll go ahead and hide it. This one we already did. I guess I just didn't hide it yet. So press the H key. So I think we'll stop the video here and finish this up in the next one.